Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly, and today we're going to do another art journal page. I got a lot of great feedback from my uh, page I did the other day, uh, doing it for beginners, doing a, you know, kind of a basic, what do you have at home, what can you use kind of thing. Um, such such wonderful feedback, and I got a lot of questions and requests having to do with this as well. So this is the page I did the other day. I will link the uh, video for this down below, or it'll be up um, up on top here uh, towards the end of the video. Please go click it and check it out. If you like my videos and you like me, please share uh, this. Um, I appreciate it. I love being shared around. My video, my channel has grown so much. I can't even fathom it sometimes. Um, I know I say this a lot, but I'm beyond humbled and blessed. Uh, my my channel has grown. I never thought I would have more than 100 uh, subscribers, and that was pushing it. That was like on a good day. And to be uh, almost at 18,000, it is mind-blowing to me, and I am forever in debt to you guys and grateful and thrilled. And I, I just... That's why I'm going to be doing um, like flash giveaways, as they will, uh, where I can do a giveaway, you know, easy to mail, inexpensive, because unfortunately shipping is so expensive, but um, I love doing it. So, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot more because you guys mean the world to me and you guys help me when I, I can't even say. So I'm going to be doing... Um, a vlog. I'm hoping today, if not definitely tomorrow, because there's a few things I need to talk about to get them off my chest to uh, maybe talk about um, nothing major, but I mean, a few, I've gotten a few emails and I want to talk about them to see what the majority thinks and um, all that kind of stuff. You know, every once in a while, every few thousand that I get, you know, you get, a, you get people who are different and blah, blah, blah. I'll do a vlog. Here we go. So we're doing art journaling for beginners. I have a lot of these on my channel. If you don't want to see an art journal page, by all means, maybe you can see another video of mine that you haven't seen or, you know, find somebody that you want to watch. That's fine with me. I don't get my feelings hurt. Um, so here's what we're going to do. This is the journal I made, and I've been obsessed with making journals. Obsessed. Like, obsessed. Obsessed. Like, I think I might make a couple and sell them inexpensively, um, but uh, because a lot of you have been asking about them, and I think that's fantastic, but I need to practice a little bit more or get it a little bit better um, before I would even consider uh, doing that. Okay, so... On my journal page, I have some masking tape. Now, this was a question I got, and I'm going to uh, explain it right now or tell you about it right now. Uh, a lot of people don't like this indentation. Now, yes, when you make them, uh, when you make your own art journal, sometimes it's deeper than if you get a book. Because as you can see, if you buy a journal and you see in the middle here how flat it lays, you know, it's it's a little different. Mine are like this. Um not a big deal. I don't care. I just am having fun. So what I like to do is take some masking tape and you can use wide washi tape. It doesn't matter, but I like to put that in the middle if it bothers you because then it makes it one continuous page as you can see. Maybe let me, let me move my camera a minute. Okay. So you see it kind of melds it together. Um, now you can definitely go to the page, the next page if you want. And why is my autofocus on? No, 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 no autofocus. Um, you know, and you can definitely, uh, have it go up a little bit if you want. So it kind of does it there. You know, you got to twist it a bit, but it's, it's no big deal. This is just your art journal. We're just playing, you know, and you can do that and then throw another piece under there, whatever you want. But here we go. I'm just going to press it down and I'm going to take some gesso and I'm using folk art gesso in white. And I'm gonna gesso and then I will be back. Okay, doga. All right, so we're dry and let's move on to the next thing. Now this is gonna be a very simple one. Um, one of the things I love is I love when you have a lot of color and then you have like a, a black or a gray, uh, picture of something, whether it's an outline of a person, I have videos of me doing that or whatever. Now today we're going to use a butterfly. So go get a stamp that you like. 
you you know you want a big one it doesn't matter the detail or anything in that and i'm going to show you um different things but you know you, that's what kind of thing you want so and if you don't have a butterfly take your uh kids fun foam and all like we've been doing in the past videos and draw just a regular heart cut it and draw a little heart um and you can use that so there's so many different things you can do so i'm going to use bright colors today um, I don't know. That's just what I want to do. It's summer. Why not? So I'm going to take some folk art, uh, lemon yellow in 521. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to be very, and I'm talking, you just want a little bit. You want it to kind of kiss it. I'm not going to worry too much, you know, how much, not enough. I'm just, see what I'm doing? And because we're going light to dark, Clean your brush off down there. Because we're going light to dark, um, it doesn't matter. Because we'll be going over uh, whatever. So I'm just, you see how simple? Look how simple that is. The only rule you want to follow when doing this, if you're, you know, doing something like this, is make sure each layer dries. Now, um, the reason you want to do that is, is because when I go in with orange now, it's we're not going to have this nice bright yellow color anymore. We're going to have whatever orange and yellow wants to do together. Um, and if you do too much of that, you'll get a, a poopy brown color and you don't want that. You want these uh, to stick out. So take your heat gun or your hair dryer. You can get a hair dryer at the thrift store. Um, very, you know, a couple bucks. Mine has them. Um, and if it wasn't so darn expensive to ship anymore, I would be buying them for $2 and giving them away. Um, shipping is way, way too expensive to do that anymore. But go to your local thrift store and find a hair dryer or use the one that you have at home. Ask your family and friends, do you have a hair dryer that you don't use? Um, if you're like me, you have a couple of them. Um, and if you don't have any of them and you can't find a hair dryer, just sit for three minutes and let it dry. These paints dry so fast and they're lovely. So there we go. That's our first uh, color. Now I took the, um, I rinsed this off in water. Let me grab my paper towel and I'm just going to kind of make sure that yellow's off there. Cause again, make sure your brush is clean because, and you can use just one brush like I'm using. You can use several, whatever you want. This is just your, you know, normal. It is a, Actually, a plaid one stroke uh, by Donna Dewberry, who I have been obsessed with forever, in a 1171A is the number, I guess. It's a three uh, quarter flat. Okay, so, but anyway, use whatever brush, use a sponge brush. Look, look at what other brushes you can use. Use your hair, you know, if you dye your hair or whatever, use, use whatever you have. Okay, so now we're going to go in with some orange. And this is just pure orange, number six. Gosh, I'm so blind. 28 from Folk Art as well. And I'm going to do a little ploop. A little ploop. And a little ploop. That's it. Look how ploopy. No big deal. And I'm going to go up and down. And go over that middle with the uh, tape. I'm going to do a little bit over here, like to clean my brush over here. Not a big deal. Now you can see that is a little uh, damp uh, still, so it's blending a little bit, but that's okay. You just don't want too much of that. I want this bright orange. And I'm not worrying about it because I have my uh, paper underneath, so it's not going to go on the next page. And I want solid pieces for now, if that makes sense. There. And if you need a little more, put a little more on there. Again, going to dry it. And it just takes a second. It dries very fast. Normally, I love to do Roy G. Biv. You know me. I tell you guys, if you're just starting out, go to your local craft store. And do your Roy G. Biv black, white, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then black and white. And you can mix color after color after color with those primary colors. You can get them very inexpensive. Okay. All right. So now, what color do I want to do next? How about some pink? And I'm going to go in with Parisian pink, and that is number 2233. 
And I'm going to shake in a minute. And I'm going to go where white is. Because we want to color that. Do I want a little bit here? Yeah. And remember, you can go back over and over, you know, if you want to put more color down or whatever, you can still use the colors. This just happens to be how I start it. And I'm just going in just a couple brushes, trying to get on that white. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to go down in here. And you can see here, I'm just going to go over that. So it kind of, now see how good that looks when your, watch, when your um, color is dry underneath. I'm putting that pink on it and it's going on that bottom part. If it was wet, it would mix with the orange and we don't want that. I might want a little more of that color over here just to make it a little more. Oops, sorry, my phone's going off a little more opaque. There you go. Now what color? Uh, purple. Let's do purple. All right. I'm going to dry my brush off a little bit. I'm going to take some perfect purple to 557. And I know it's somehow. And come on, baby. Do some here. And very easily, very simply, gonna just make it and we could, you can add some texture. Look at that cool texture that'll dry. And I'm just gonna go around here and this is why I love having the paper on the outside because I'm not gonna worry, just take off some of that extra, I'm not gonna worry if it goes anywhere because it's going to you know go on the scrap paper and I can use it for something else. And I'm turning my brush sideways like this. And that's how those te that texture comes through like on here and you can see it on there. So you could do that. See how I'm just going to drag it through. That's almost all dry already. Okay. Now, if I do one of my favorite things that I love to do. I'm going to rinse off my brush. I'm going to dab it off. I'm not going to completely dry it, but what I'm going to do is I'm coming in here and with my wet brush, pretend like I don't like that. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not really digging on that. So I just wet it. Now I'm going to take my art rag or paper towel, whatever you want. Now look, we can go in there. Look how fun. I don't know. I find weird things fun, but then we can add a little bit of texture. And you can see how it just has that little bit of texture there. And I can go, you can go with your finger, you can go in with whatever you want. Okay. Doesn't matter. Just adding some texture. All right. So now you can see up here, I don't have anything. So I'm going to go back in with my yellow and I'm going to fill in everywhere else. And one, one shot of the yellow there should be enough. And this is just our bottom layer. And you can pull it down on different colors. I'm just gonna go and touch up anywhere I see white. Where I can, you know, if it's dry. And you see, I just keep going back here to pull off that extra.
Now you see when I put that yellow over the pink, it turns orange, right? So that's why you want to make sure it's dry. And that's okay. I can do it here too, but I'm just picking up all the extra paint. Okay. And you see very, very simple, not a big deal. Okay. Now, I am going to let this dry, and when it dries, I'll come back, and we're going to go on to the next part. Very simple. Okay, so it's all dry. So now what I have is I have some folk art texture paint in Snow White, and I have this. And what this is is a vegetable bag. I'm sure we've all seen them. We've all thrown them away or maybe even used them for something else. I am going to use it for... <laughs> Um, texture in my journal. Another way that you can use things from home uh, in this way. Now, you might not have this one. It's, uh, I think it was Clementine's or something, but you might have something else. So think about that. And, you know, I always tell you guys, look at things in a different light. You know, when you're going to throw things away or packaging, look at it and see, oh, can I use this for texture? Can I use this? Um, here's something I have that I'm going to use. This was a divider in a fishing tackle box. And I got two of them. Um, you're supposed to break them off and divide the little things. But I was like, no, thank you. I'm going to use that in my art journal. So you see what I'm saying? Look at everything. So here's what I'm going to do. I, I'm going to use a butterfly today. Okay. So I think I'm going to put my butterfly here. So I'm not doing this part yet, but I'm going to leave this here because that's going to allow me to just put some texture everywhere. Um, not going to go crazy, but it's just going to be a little bit. Um, I think more, you know, I'm going to do a little bit over here. So I'm going to grab some of my texture paste. Now I have many recipes as well. If you're new to, uh, you know, mixed media and all that, um, where you can make your own. Very simple, but I love this and that's what I'm going to use. And look, you can see good texture. Now move it to a different part. And, you know, it depends on how how perfect you want it. And I say perfect sarcastically because psh, I just love playing. And you know what? This is what I have now, and this is what I'm going to use. And I'm recycling, so hello. And I'm just going to swipe it on, lift it off. And look at that. Not bad, not bad. So the reason I put this here is so I can see where I want to lay this down, like Rat says. And, um... I don't want any texture underneath there. So I might do a little bit here. See what I'm saying? Not a big deal. Um, I might do a little bit right there and I think I'm gonna do a little bit on the other page and that's all she wrote for that. Just adding some dimension. Okay, and then I think just to carry it over here, I don't know, I'm just thinking here. I'm not really giving it too much of a thought. I didn't hold it as well as I wanted, but look, still worked. Got some texture. If you do this and you can see it has dividing still in it, it's not as separate. Take your tool that you're using or the back of your paintbrush and just kind of mark in it. Do squiggles, do whatever you want, because that's just going to add texture when we put paint over it. So that is that. So that's going on there. I'll wash that off. Now, obviously, this is plastic, so you go put it in a little thing of water. I'll throw it in my brush water uh, just till I go clean my water out. But honestly, this can dry on here and it's not going to affect anything. So I'm not going to bother with it. All right. So while that begins to dry, what I'm going to do is I want to kind of doodle over here. So I have some black paint. It's uh, licorice is the name of the paint, because you guys are always ask me the names. It is licorice, and you can do this with your Sharpie, your Bic, your Copic, your, uh, gosh, we have so many pens. I got asked to do a video on all the pens I love that aren't, uh, that are permanent, that don't um, bleed, so that'll be coming up as well. Um, but I'm just using some black paint, and I'm gonna take a, a thinner brush. Hmm, let me get a thin brush. Where's my thin brushes? Where are you at? All right. Okay, I'm still on y'all. Okay. So I'm just going to use this little brush right here. And it is a 
Number two, flat by plant. I'm going to give it a little bit of water. And every time you rinse your brush off, take your hand and go like this because, and I'm sure a lot of you can, uh, you guys know this or it happened to you. You go rinse your brush off. You kind of dab it on your paper towel or your rag or whatever you're doing. And then you go to paint and all of a sudden a big old drip of water comes. Well, that's because it, it sits up here. So I always do my best to do that. I don't always, but I try to. And my brush is a little damp and I'm going in just the littlest bit and I'm going back and forth and I want the best point that I can get. But look, you use whatever you have. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to like make, again, you'll see why you can use a marker or a pen or whatever you have. I'm just making like faux stitches, right? Because I want to doodle. And I'm just going to keep, and you can doodle whatever color you want. I'm doing black because I want you guys to be able to see it. And I just keep going in and dipping. And maybe here, because this is a bright one, maybe I will do some swirls. And I go back in every time I draw something or go on to something else because I want it to be as dark as I can do it. Now, I don't so much like that little hook on the top, but maybe you do. But how about if I put just a little circle or whatever. Use the back of your paintbrush and dot, which I'll, I'm going to do right there. I'm going to dip that in my black paint. How about we do this? Dot, dot. We're just using what we have, right? It doesn't matter what size paintbrush you have. I'm just telling you what I'm using. You use whatever you have. Use your fingers. Use your Q-tips would be great, especially for dots. And you can see my dots are different sizes. This is a smaller brush, and I'm not putting as much paint on it. But it's just adding. You see what I'm saying? And this is so satisfying for OCD things. <laughs> and let's just sit and meditate. And concentrate. Oh, she didn't. She did. I rhymed. I know. I know. I know. I know. You're like, oh, she rhymed. Yes, she did. And I just keep going. And making it meet up. No rhyme or reason. Remember that. This is no rhyme or reason. Now, this is a great place right there for us to do a um a doodle what kind of doodle do i want i'll do right there what kind of doodle i think i might i'm going to wipe this off always wipe that off because you don't want it to do and i'm going to just put this in my water for now so it doesn't i'm going to move this i'm going to use my marker let me use my let me use my, let me use my, my pen. Now let me show you these real quick, this one real quick. Where did my, I could do it right here. Okay, that one's that. And this is just my scrap paper. I'm going to show you, I'm going to put a little water to it. You want to make sure... Any marker or pen that you use that is waterproof, right, or permanent, um, you got to give it a chance to dry because you're putting it on paper and it has to go through the fibers for a minute. So you can hit it with your heat gun or hair dryer, but, um, you know, you just want to give it a second. So I'm going to take a little bit of water. Okay, so that one's smear. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to test them to see if they're waterproof. So obviously we can see that our big Velocity 1.6 is waterproof. So this is what I'm going to rock with. So I'm going to doodle and then I will be back and we will get on with the butterfly and over the modeling paste or texture paste. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so you can see, just start doodling a little bit. Not a big deal. Um, I was just playing and all. I got to finish it. But what I'm going to do is... You see where I have the uh, 
texture paste. I'm going to take the colors that it's on top of. So for instance, this is yellow. Is there any more yellows? There's a little yellow here. And I probably can get more yellow off of um, that because so, it's a lot. So I'm going to draw my brush. I don't want it too, too wet. And I'm just going in and I'm going to brush it on. Try to avoid anything you doodled or anything you have there. And what it's going to do, it's going to add delicious texture. And look at that. And it's bright and it's nice and I love it. So right here, it's kind of orange and yellow. And you see how the, um, you know, the paper saves you a little bit. And I'm just going in here. Not the biggest deal. I think that's all with the yellow. I might go in here just a tad. Okay, so the next color, and I think I'm just going to wipe my brush, any extra pink right there. The next color we have is orange and then a little pink. So I'm just going to put a little orange here. Because we have it down here as well. And the same thing, I'm just going to do that. And down here. I'm not going to put the pink down here. I'll probably just stick with this orange since there's enough. But who knows? Who knows what I'll do? Because I have a pink over here. And just going over in case it needs a little more texture. Now, I used, I used gel pens. I used my markers. I used paint. And I was just, doodle, I didn't doodle a lot, but I did, you know, a little bit just to kind of add a little bit more. I want to do more doodling, but like I said, that's neither here or there for me to, you know, stay on here and show ya because I think we all know how to doodle. And if you don't, um, then maybe the next one I do, I'll do, you know, I'll do a full video on. But like I said, it's just me playing. I'm not really, uh, my hands are hurting today, so I'm really not um, too into the doodling, if you know what I'm saying today. But, you know, now here's the pink. I'm just going in and where's the other one right here? And you can go in on parts there that maybe the pink needs a little more, uh, the paint itself. And that's just going to add texture. Now you want to run it like over that? You can, you can do whatever you want. So that is for that so far. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stamp and I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm just using distressed ink, but of course you use whatever ink you have. If you want to use a permanent ink, that'll work as well. And I'm just stamping it on there. I really want the outside stamp, so make sure that you have that. And then you're going to take it and you're going to go in here wherever you want, or if you want it over here, wherever. And I'm just going to put it there and I'm going to give it a push, especially on those outside lines. Okay. And look, take this and stamp it here on your white paper and just keep stamping it to get the ink off And because you're going to use that in your journal at another point. We'll use it. So, you know, so nothing goes to waste. Now, you can, you can see it a little bit. It's not the greatest. It's okay. I'm going to take my black paint, and that's how I'll start it. You see, I still have my black paint, and I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm going to draw on my paintbrush. Remember, always take it like that. I'm going in with my black paint on both sides, not worrying too much. You can use a black marker, your Sharpie, or whatever. And remember, this uh, Distress Paint uh, ink is water-soluble. So it's just going to blend in with the black. And I'm just going in, and I'm going to paint the outside part. Again, you can use your marker. This is, I'm just doing it, I like to do different ways. So, you know, if you don't have markers, then you can use your paint. If you have markers and you want to use them, then you can use them. And you see, we're just getting that butterfly. And I'm going to go this side. And here it Okay. 
Now look, you know, I could be, I'm as a, uh, a stunad. And so I'm not always, you know, fantastic at doing things. My hands hurt really bad. They're hard. They don't, they don't like to bend certain ways. My brain, I got the fog. I got, I'm a mess, but I love playing. So what is wrong with playing? Um, that's why I like doing this. So you guys can see there's no, you don't have to be anything spectacular. It's just about having fun. And that's what I'm doing. And that's all you have to do. There you go. And voila. Look at that. We got our black, our black um, butterfly on there. Now, if you want to put it elsewhere, put it over here. If you want to do two or three of them, that would be really cool. You can put it anywhere you want. I think I think I might do another one. I think I'm just going to do it over here and go for it. Because my heart is black today and my black butterfly. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I'm going to do this today. And I'm going to make them fly up that way. <laughs> all over half of the stuff here. It's all about playing. Sometimes you guys write me and you cringe. <laughs> I'm going to do this with a marker this time so you guys can see. Sometimes you guys write me and you cringe at what I do. Like, for instance, throwing that down on there or throwing paint down or doing whatever. I just like having fun. This is a hot mess, but guess what? I had a blast doing it, and it's an art journal page. It's for beginners. You know? So I'm just going to go in and... Now, of course, like I said, you can use your um, uh, stays on or memento or whatever you have. It's all up to you. And if you don't have a Sharpie marker, just paint it with paint. It's okay. But you see how Sharpie marker is just as good. Neither one's better or worse than the other. Okay. And just when you're done with your Sharpie, you make sure you wipe the tip off because that's what you said. Because if you get any acrylic paint or anything that'll dry, then you won't be able to use your markers anymore. And that goes for your jelly rolls, your any kind of marker, watercolor, you know, the whole shebang. That word took me back for a minute. All right. Of course, you can make it, you know, you want to change a few things. That's fine. And now we have our butterfly there. And I'm just going to take this and roll it on its side a little bit to make sure I don't have any residue on now. And there you go. And like I said, you can put as many as you want of these butterflies on it. It's just having fun. And if these are too bright for you, I, I enjoy the bright. But if they're too bright for you, you can always... Uh, put some black on it to push it back or mix colors like here. I put a little bit of the, you know, whatever you want to do. It's just a, it's just a beginner's like, here's some ideas. Have, if I have at it. Now I'm going to tell you things I don't like, like, I don't like this leaf here. Like I was doing a flower here, as you can say, I don't know how well. Um, and so I don't like this. So I'm going to go in and probably color this all in. And if some of that shows through on the bottom, I'm okay with that because that just adds to it, but I don't want it all through, showing through, right? So you see what I'm saying? So you can go and do, you know, whatever you want. And like I said, if these are too dark for you, just run your marker over it just to push them back a little bit because the dark will push it back a bit, you know? So really, it's all about just having fun and, you know, going at it. Now you can, you can, um, once these dries, you can doodle on these as well, and that's fun. So that's it. It's just a very colorful, no big deal page. I got what the heck's going on down here. I don't know, but it's a flower, and it's kind of happy and all over. You can see here, I can still doodle on that, and um, I can still doodle all around here. So if I take my, where'd it go, Cal? You know, if I take my gel pen or your white marker or your white paint, whatever you have, I can go in here and I can break this purple up by kind of drawing lines outside of the uh, butterfly, like following it to a point. And you can do this with white paint as well. 
or whatever color paint you want. But you see, and I'm just kind of going and imitating those lines. Just so it kind of breaks up some stuff. It doesn't matter. If you want to uh, write on the inside, well, that's still wet. If you want to write on the inside, you can go in with white paint or white marker, whatever you have. And see the, it's getting the, uh, it's getting the tip there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you see what I'm saying. You know, go ahead, go. Go in and have a blast. That's what it's all about. It's just having some fun. So give me a thumbs up if you guys like this. This is just beginners. This is nothing fancy. This isn't let's go crazy and get all kinds of stuff. Um, I was going to take the word, which I'm going to use these in a different one, the word dream. And I was going to put it here and like put it on here. The other word was inspire. So you can do that as well. I'm not going to today, but... Like I said, you can just continue on and on and on. You can just put dots there on them with white paint. You can just go to town. And that's it. So, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. This is a page I did today. Having a blast doing it for beginners out there, for people who are like me, who today is not a very good uh, pain day, uh, very high uh, pain today, and I want to create. I don't want to just sit around today. I wanted to create, so why not sit and play? And that's what I did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I'd appreciate it if you share me around like I'm your loose friend. Um, so other people can find me and maybe uh, get into art journaling as well. And that's it. I'm going to be doing more art journaling pages. I do uh, going to have a video coming up with um, how to make, you know, how to make a journal, but because a lot of you have asked, but I just am having a blast making them and making journal pages and I have no idea. So let me just show you up close because I didn't do it. And you see, it's just, they're just dude. I just sat here literally and just doodled. Oh, hit my camera, but that's all right. You see what I'm saying? And you really can go to town. I mean, you really can, you know, like I love, I'm a dot person. I don't know why, but like, if I'm like this, and it doesn't have to be black, but that's just what I'm doing here. Um, I mean, come on. I don't know what the hell that did, but hey, I, I'm sorry for cursing. Sorry. Um, okay. And you see what I'm saying? You just have fun. Just do the dots everywhere. Everybody do the dot. You get my point. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.